Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. I'm OP and in today's episode we'll be going over some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Without further ado, let's dive straight into the action. Barrel might have something happening here though. King and STP available. Don't forget Perfect has Ignite. Oh, this is late. But it's okay, it's going to be Oriana that does come in. The teleport is being utilized. KT got to get out of here as the Aatrox is coming in from behind. As a three-man knockout comes in from Barrel. That's from Lucid, that is the engage you were looking for, Chronicler, as everybody is going to get away on low health, though they only do get the... The Drake goes down to 59. It's actually the Orianna BDD that ends up picking it up. And then Barrel ends up going very low. Here you think it's done, uh -oh. and we don't get to see. Showmaker's dead. Just straight up. Looks like uh, no flash. Used it in the earlier play. Some and of these members. So looks like they don't want to contest. Instead, opting to go for some aggressive wave shoving, but the timing on this, not that great. Immediate counter herald comes through, and I don't think Kingen is really threatening to stop uh, turret. Okay, Def says, I'm going to take it into my own hands. I am now the engage with Flash Chains of Corruption. Hey. Which Showmaker does flash away. Someone has to start a <laughs> Yeah, as now Shockwave coming in, Aiming's in a lot of trouble. He's just out of the fight immediately. The Lucian doesn't do anything with this low of range, as now Kingen gets in from behind, but he's just kicked away from Death. Although Death will go down, and Kingen survives after all of that. And now Showmaker making his way back into this play. Keep in mind, KT, they got the Infernal Drake as well. So pretty okay with this one, although Deft is definitely biting so the big that they get the kill on Deft, because otherwise I don't think he would have actually been able uh, to stay alive. Can they kill him here? I mean, Barrel tanking up quite a bit as he will go down. It does feed the kill over to Perfect, who is immensely down a couple of Drakes. And it does feel like KTR controlling the flow of this game, but the gold is relatively similar, especially if you get the majority of those calling hits into a rumble, let's say, in this case. Gonna be feeling pretty, and it work kind yeah. of working. Yeah, uh, well, for death, not necessarily. Is oh, the engage? Yeah, nice equalizer. That's a hook onto the poppy and the chains in the back line as well. It's gonna hit the poppy again, and the kick comes in as death very nicely set up there alongside a barrel. As now that hook is gonna be pretty interesting, but Kingen trying to run away from this one. Not sure he's gonna be able to. The rest of the team just abandoning ship and will leave their Aatrox out in the ocean. A lot of power available in Showmaker and aiming. Lucid also on his way and he is zooming Valdez. He's so fast. <laughs> I'm not sure it's going to matter though. Showmaker could get a nice amount of burst damage in here as the Tidal Wave comes in as well but the Smite is going to be of course better than the Mantra Q as a lot of damage comes in from the side of aiming but Beryl just flashes the wall and a Mega Cone to save everybody. That could have been salvageable but can Flashes in, doesn't actually kill Pioshik, then gets ulted away by BDD, yeah. meaning that he goes down. More defensive summoners have to be invested by DK. By the way, Luce, or Pioshik, rather, he did go down um, to aiming, it looks like, as Jonas Strong was trying to show us that in live while we were watching the replay. Show now BDD is it? trying to... Uh, no, I think it was... Oh, I guess it was the two of them together. Was well, now Showmaker goes down. He's still going to come out ahead on this one, obviously, with the Red Bull Baron power play. Not amazing, because Pio shaking up getting an inner as well. So still going to not feel too bad for KT. Also should put him in a great position already in this half of the map. You can see on that, he does not have it for the moment. Has a bit of a 5v5 brewing here. Some nice Master Q action. A big poppy ultimate to get the jungler away. And now Barrel is just biting the bullet for this one. He's going to go down. So that slow from the uh, tidal wave was pretty huge. And DK, they staked their claim on a second Chemtech Drake here. Stacking their own set of Drake into TP into the spides. As now the helicopter being charged up by the saddle loose. He's just going to hold on to it. As this one is being leashed, the engage just come down onto the poppy and they have so much damage, but he just runs it off and sprints away from them. As the TP did come in from Kingen, he's going to try to set this one up. A barrel is going to be able to get away. As loose and he dies to the Baron. How did he manage that? And now KT Rolster, yes, very low on health, but 5v4 in their favor. After the <laughs> against the Poppy. They're going to get some vision here, but this one might be a bit late as Lucid is going to knock away Beryl, and he's going to get into this pit. 
They get so low, they can just keep this one lead. It's just a spike fight, and it goes to Pilsik. Went down to like 1198, and the damage is coming in now. BDD is so low, but he just flashes away from this one. Is aiming, desperate to get some damage into Perfect. Will get it down, but there's already two members of DK that are in the grave. Is aiming, also pretty low depth, and Pilsik alone got to try to win this one, but King in his full health on the Lethality Aatrox just running at them and should be able to take oh. up Yoshik as he kind of messes that one up. Mega Cone! Mega Cone. We do have BDD who tried to TP into this one. And Dept is, uh, I think they know where he is. Yeah, Mega Cone comes in. He's trying to do some damage to kill and he's taking up the Navi. He wants aiming as well and the Q. Oh. He is saved just barely. The chains onto Deft. Who then still has to, the field flash? It's <laughs> it's a work of art. Someone from DK now. KT actually gonna out rotate them. Get the mid lane turret here. So the rest, of the health bars are too low. That I guess they 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 don't they don't want to risk the contest. They lost some of their end game. The timing was great. Took a lot of damage, but now the GA cooldown is down. Kyoshi does have, his does mean he can go for some really aggressive plays. Here it is once again. They're just going for that front target. Lucid is going to knock him away, but he's just dead. The amount of damage that they have right now, KT, is just insane. And even Lucid, you mentioned he was behind the levels. He's just falling apart like a piece of paper is now perfect and a bit of trouble. True six item. and So there's Trailblazer, there's Slay. Uh -oh. Pilsik trying to be the clutch master again. He's going to get the... Kick on a aiming, he nearly dies for it, and aiming gets away. And now Kingen with the angle, but he's alone once again, and it's just taking massive damage. But he heals so much against Barrel, is not going to survive though. As BDD just gonna chunk him. It's karma. Yeah. He does have a lot of backline threat damage. A lot of flanking, but now Kingen he's here without TP. He's gonna get the inhibitor, and this might be a trade nexus for Chemtech Soul kind of situation. Although BDD is gonna go back. As we will have to look at this 1v1, BDD looks totally fine. It's going to clear the wave, and that issue is solved. Pioshik getting so low, but down goes Lucid again! As the Equalizer comes through, and the smite goes down to the side of Pioshik. Showmaker going into stasis, but he's all alone in the pit, and he will be taken out. KT Roaster will take this one down. They get the Chemtech Soul. I don't pushing know. Uh, oh, into zero compared to two and a one. Yeah, Lucid and Kellen are almost back though, and, and KT didn't actually get the opportunity to end. I think also because they were kind of <laughs> looking at is is someone on DK? Or on this Barrett who's got a massive health bar. That's Equalizer cool. comes down, and yeah, Perfect just gonna help out with that one. And that is Baron given over to DK. Smited that about. Be a lot of heavy lifting being Even done Showmaker's here. Even not on full build. Yeah, exactly. And we just have. And he will hold on to his flash. Meanwhile, scrambling around the base right now is KT trying to stop Kingen from getting this one as Shockwave comes in and Kingen might have overstepped here, but this inhibitor goes down. Kingen almost nearly gone, but the base might be gone as well. Nice. DK trying to end this one, or at least threaten it. They're going to take down a Nexus turret, but also another inhibitor turret does go down. So you're doing work in mid lane. As the bottom inhibitor oh. did go too hard because then they can double TP towards the bot wave. And there's not a lot of vision here for KT. As Kingen gets in and Pyoshik is going to dodge that one. It's going to come down to a flip. Is this Challenger's Chronicler? As oh. it will come down to the flip and it goes what? to Aatrox. Kingen picks up the Elder Drake and that should be game. As Pyoshik and Depth on the run, but they're being Aatrox from a distance. And Depty's not long for this world. There's the execution, and Pioshik just on the run. He's going to be very sad he wasn't able to hit that smite, and maybe we're oh. not going to break the record as King DK will push the bottom lane. Betraying his old teammates, slamming them down, gets the Elder somehow, and DK is going to take <laughs> game number one. And Lucid is emoting into them after being caught out multiple times. Doesn't matter. He did the one important thing, which is... Trying to help smite the Elder, I suppose, Bumble along well. with King. With Nautilus already being a maiden initiator, and the amount of CC available for KT, absolutely incredible. It's Kingen, he got pummeled in lane last time around. I expect it will be the same, and I expect he For Kellen at the moment. And no Hex Flash, but you can always just go around the back, as that they will. The Root comes down onto Kellen. He's in a lot of trouble, as he will flash away. But his first blood, given over to Beryl, taken down by the Ignite.
Really good recuperation there from Pioshik. Not to be dissuaded. He will have to pay pretty... We do see the Drake being taken here by KT, and yeah, yeah. You, you have, you have small to catch. Like, post six, maybe. Is it because Pioshik is trying his best now to just farm up as much as he can. Lucid did get the one as... All comes in. He is level four, and... Oh, God. <laughs> Where did he go? You're on. And wasn't able to get the full three, even though KT got the Drake. Lucid also hasn't really been able to use the max value of all the gank. Nice uh, knockback here from the side of BDD, and in fact, they're going to try to turn this one around on the Showmaker, and that they will. The Smolder does call down his mom, down onto Pioshik, and will in fact pick up an early kill. Didn't end up dying twice. Could have devoured Showmaker there. Uh, that would have been a guarantee win as all king, and... He doesn't have ult barrel, but it does not m seem to matter. Aftershock procced, and barrel only takes one turret shot just like that. Kill for his Nar as well, which in this matchup obviously going to be a really big boon. He was in the mid lane as well, but Barrel's gonna get knocked up now, maybe playing too close to the sun as, nope, he's just gonna flash away. Then he goes back in actually, but Aiming is here, and that might be a bit of a problem. Flash Q from Aiming, as now Lucid's gonna get the power of the double. Seismic Shove comes out from the side of KT, as now Aiming will go down. It's a double to the side of BDD, making a triple, as Showmaker as well as being Kited down into his own jungle. Perfect, gonna pick that one up with his TP to come in and help out the team. Really big there for me is that map impact that Perfect was able to make. As we again see that engaging on Barrel is a fool's quest. Do not do it. It is not It is not right, it is a mistake. This is where things look pretty dire, but aiming goes over the door, flashes in, and then this knockback from Talia. Plus the fact that they already oh had used the Devourer, yeah. Showmaker I think dead. looks like he's dead. He doesn't have Flash, and that's one more rock from the side of BDD, who here, end Devourer available. They didn't know that, but they're just not going to dive onto that turret. Better safe than sorry, as I say that. Barrel now in a bit of trouble, as he is going to hook into the wall, but he's devoured to his death, most likely, as King in. Right? One more hit would do right? it! to the wall! No way! Flash comes forward, and King will finally get that kill, but will they pay for it, as they are very deep in this one, and BDD shows up, and they take them both down. Do not fall for it! Please! This Barrel is just like... <laughs> wild thing. Was he... I'm predicting him to flash forward? It uh, has to be. I don't know why else he would go for that. Like he, it I was, think he just missed. It might be, but I feel like it was so far up. Flash into... No, he doesn't have a wall. Regardless, though, a uh, big mistake. Because... No Glacial Prison here. Ooh, yep. And no flash. Could try to dive. And the shield is coming in from the Seraphs, but it looks like BDD 1Q, and he does get taken down. That's a big shutdown, but immediately going to be traded back as Def does pick this one up. He's looking for a bit more. His lucid was, seems worrying, yeah. Uh, I do <laughs> think that, uh, you know, if we do get to a very late game scenario, if KT messed something up along health, burn will be enough, even through the Mountain Drakes. As, okay, well, King instead. <laughs> He came to them with news of his glorious exploits, and they were like, yes, we will follow you, Lol Guru. <laughs> Take us to where we are needed. Oh, Lucid. Yeah, that's... That ain't it. Okay, well, now Kellen is going to pay the price. He does have a big shield, but that is nothing compared to the Fed Forest. Okay. It's now perfect. Uh-oh, we got some rocks. We got a big Gnar as well, right on top of the two of them. And that's going to be a double kill now for the side of death. This one is well and truly over, as we're almost at 10,000 gold. Stance guard. Yeah, they... Nope, they're not even going to see this happen. As they do know it is happening. It's going to last, though, especially with the uh, the difference in farm. As, okay, well, what if we just remove this boulder entirely? <laughs> just knock him away from the wave. That's a good way to take down the inhibitor, too. Uh oh, that was that was very close. Heal utilized here by aiming just for the movement speed to try to avoid the seismic shove. Still down about thirteen thousand gold. <laughs> when you invest the double old <laughs> and like you push them off, you're like that. That actually was good. That felt good. We we finally punched back. We did it. And then they TP back. All right, two twenty-five. Yeah. We did it, guys. The smolders online. And we get a nice little graphic here as King and dies. A nice gnar into two of them. As a bit of damage is actually going down on a perfect. Did they go too far on this one? About that. Perhaps they About did. That. Wait, no way. They went straight into the smolder. Oh 
and the damage is just insane right now. No. Oh, and he's going to force that flash out of BDD. Guys, they were down 13,000 gold. He has the Blast Cone. I think he's fine. They're yeah, the trying to chase Lucid has, Lucid has Flash. Blast Cone should save them, but yeah, you mentioned the Flash Power for Amy. He's just going to assassinate them. And the burn comes in. They want to give this over to Aiming, and they will. You've got to be kidding me. They don't get Soul either. Is that sitting at two before? Oh, Death has to try and steal this. If he can. He's a hero. Okay. <laughs> He might be able to kill Usa, to be honest. He has an insane amount of damage, but... Oh, no, Deft! He's baited into it, and he goes down as well! Hands on his head as the objective bounce. I still don't think they should be allowed to get near this Baron, and they won't. They won't. They're going to let it go. That one went down to 70. Why be the inhib, though? Yeah, they don't have an Aatrox anymore, though. He didn't quite go into the grave, but uh, Weaver's Wall and a push should be enough in a 5v4 situation. Inhibitor will go down. As we're trying to do some max health burn. Oh, 10 seconds on the mid inhib. Ideally, K uh, KT want to stick around. If they can get free inhibs, doesn't matter that Smolder's there. And I still think KT very firmly in control of this game. Oh, the flux health comes in, but the follow-up is just not there. Lucid, way ahead of his time, perhaps, and way ahead of his team. It was a cool angle, but it's three inhibitors down now, and KT rolls there. Looking to end this one, the seismic jump comes in, and the Devourer is here once again, aiming is safe for now. As that front line, though, it is being chipped away at by KT Rolster. Left back. Burn is coming in, and ult onto the Tom Kent's very confusing, as that's not going to do much of anything at all. Kellen just presses E. Nice damage being put in from Deft. He's got the target on the right target. On a TP to come through. All right, let's see if they can hold on to this one. Flash away from the seismic shove, flash forward. Hook is going to sail wide, and KT Rolster with the Baron buff. Just leave. It's fine. It's fine. You can get Dragon. You have triple in it. No. You don't have to keep going. You know, honestly, I think they should be able to end this one here. But let's see if they actually do as they engage onto the Aatrox. And that is another kill for the Smolder. But Showmaker is going to go down. And aiming is so low. The Zonia's timing is perfect. But I just don't think it matters. As the Flash comes in and KT finally, we will be let off of their roller coaster as they take down game number two. We have a series on our hands. A little bit of a bait and switch there from KT. The top lane once again with the Nar into the Aatrox. Biggest saving grace this time around is the bot lane for DK. Zeri Lulu actually can have a long. the bottom lane? Who could have. As the blue team? Shock. Oh, but they got grubs though. That's they good, did. right? They did get the grubs. Barrel has elected to stick around. Um, BDD may be thinking about TP in here. He's going to get here after his support dies. And I don't think that even saves Deft, because they were already disengaging. For KT is the triple grubs. Oh, boy. As <laughs> Rel has found... Oh, uh, Kingen might be in some trouble, though. Oh, yeah, he's getting flashed on. Ooh, he flashes away, but there is a tree running at him anyway. He might be fine, though. Uh, this is Mini. Maybe he is. Yeah, the flash magnet storm, and that's just the end of perfect, as down he will go. And Pioshik is not in a better spot. He does have Flash himself. Will he elect to use it is the question. Q comes in, and he just says, nah, man, I'm dead. This is over in this top trade. It's two through his mic from Showmaker, who was sitting two yes. seats away from him. <laughs> it, might have, it, it has to be. I don't know who what else it, is that loud. What it sounded like. OK, well, this is the combo, guys. This is the Kaisa Leona. They get on in. That's a very nice solar flare. And now with Pilsik here, maybe they make something of it. But Barrel is actually the one that is low as he nearly goes down. And the bouncing autos from aiming. BDD. Up he flashes forward. He's looking for the kills. And he's going to get the one as here comes BDD. As you mentioned, flash forward. Immediate stun from the side of losing. And yes, aiming goes down. But he saves his teammates. And he challengers, man. Who could have seen it coming? And you know, we were talking about the Renata Glask as well. That's actually a big Kellen pick. Honestly, teams have got a solid grasp on one or the other. Let's see what the... It's Chemtech, isn't it? He's got some extra time to troll us. Not surprising, to be honest. And... Boy, I'm just an innocent little Yordle. But I would love if they just start Nash, or at least threaten to start Nash. 
because right now you have to... He's doing quite a lot with the picks as well. A little bit of help from the Lulu, which, by the way, helps Zir now. And his soldiers, as the ult comes in, Lucid is very low, and down he goes. Meganar is coming in. Barrel is going to find this engage onto Showmaker, who is quite tanky, but he's alone. Going to sweep away four people and dash, but it's Kaisa. You're not getting away from her and from Tristana. As KT rolls there, they find the angle. DK dropped the ball, and KT breaks. Gonna... The soul is Camtech, and we have traveled back in time. Comps are a little different, well, but that's okay. Game number one was fun. We, it we only two items, whole game. He doesn't even have that no yet. Excuses. Oh, he knocks him out of the air, BDD. He is not able to buffer that one. And that is a big deal, as now we do not have a Tristana, and the Baron just spawns. Oh, God. Went God. for it in kind of like a, oh, he's probably just going to flash this or buffer this, so I'll just throw it out, nothing else is happening. He just died, and now... They're just marching up the front. What is, what is <laughs> happening to my silly game, Feldes? I guess the game just ends now. <laughs> okay, they, they won't be able to push further than the, than the turret, but that's going to be a lot so of value out of that. And DK is like, yeah, it's soul point, who cares? <laughs> it's a chemtech drink, who cares about that thing? Just get the mid inhibitor. And it's only the mid inhibitor. They probably rotate towards top as well. Yeah. Well, let's see if they even get this in the first place. Guys? Aiming. Uh oh, perfect. Kind of alone. Her, is Lucid gonna move forward? Just force a response? It's a nice call, but they gotta be careful not to get caught in this pit as uh, the damage is, is insane and Lucid's in the pit, but he can't get in. He gets rooted. And look at the damage now onto the front line as King is just 100 to 0. He is in the world ender. They're trying to chase here. As perfect isn't able to do much on the Minionar. They do want to chase, but now the poke is coming out from the Kais as well. Piosic just gonna give himself up for the team, it looks like. Will he even go is down he? in the last case as Kingen is going to help pick him up? But that's Baron for KT on four members. Oh, TP's! Uh, here we go. Okay. TP's coming in the sweep and only gets one. It's Showmaker. He ducks immediately. We officially have our silly game. As now KT are going to flash forward. Here comes BDD looking for the kill on a King, and that'll Reverse be Reverse TP. And now. We do have the Nar, as you mentioned, perfect. Wait, he's mini. Oh, he's mini. Oh, that's a Zeri, but they might have the damage. Lucid with a big engage, but he's so low, they take out the one guy as Amy oh! is gonna blow up to the Tristana. As Solar Flare coming down, BDD, he wants more. One jump should do it. As, yeah, the E comes down, and Kellen is just dead. The range of the level 18 Tristana, insane. And KT, take that message. Match from Deft actually is absolutely incredible. As uh, we do have Deft also getting the Camtex soul here, which is a big well, mess. The game feels very handily in their favor now. Uh, BDD is very large, uh, but with the Emperor's Divide. As long as the inhibs stand. Here we go. Redemption used. The Baron damage is bonkers. I mean, this is going to go down immediately. They have to get in, but the slow is on Lucid. He can't quite. The poke. Okay, the poke is coming down, and the other is going to give it away. Lucid not going to get into the pit. And now King in an awkward spot here. The team kind of wants to help him, but I think he's just going to have to flash the wall. Very unfortunate for him in that position. They're not able to find the angle on the engage, so he just has to flash and has transitioned into basically full AP. As now. Charging down the mid lane, gonna take out this inhibitor, no doubts. Well, there are flank wards. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta find the flank. Who doesn't spot him? But they have an inkling. Oh, look at that poke! Did you see that? A massive engage! Come on! Oh! Lobo, Lobo them! They get the job done. But BDD is alive. He is shelling. He jumps into the back line, and he cannot be touched. Although aiming as well, he's just gonna blow up to BDD. But it does not matter as BDD could not quite one v five in this game as he will be chipped away, and it's a triple kill for Showmaker, and the game will just end. Biting, biting, biting their time. DK just waiting. And as Lucid goes in, Showmaker sees his angle. Kingen not spotted on the flank. There's no TP, and BDD is the only one that does have TP in 30 They're seconds. They're going to lose. Oh, the, oh, God. Oh, no. Wait, no one is backing. <laughs> Nobody's backing. Guys! No one is backing! Guys, no way! Somebody's got to back! BDD can TP in 15 seconds. Perfect can stop them from backing! Perfect the Nexus stop the backs! Okay, aiming is up in five. Okay, they're going to get the Elder. And now they just got to go back. Because they just lost double Nexus turn. 
<laughs> it's an open uh, uh, Oh, oh no way! Gonna try to push them off of this one. They should be able to get the inhibitor. And like you mentioned, KT's just not going to give them the fight. They can't. 10 seconds. They have to let it go. And DK. Inhibitor's down. 10. They're going to try to push for a bit more. Nexus comes in. The engage is denied, but the damage on a BDD already is huge as Kingen is in there. And he is very deep as the divide comes in, but the 280 carries are selling, but it just doesn't matter as Kingen is unkillable. And the Elder Drake helps out so much as finally Aiming gets to move forward and shoot some enemies down. D plus Kia will take the 2 1. Reason. He's back. No, that's, that's Jax that says that. Right? Does he? Yeah. Surprise, I'm back. Is that not checks? Maybe. Inside. I wouldn't have minded seeing some of that rather than just, you know, letting Zeri chill out. Um, could have also seen Sponge. You know, he has hit level 6 here. Might try to get on top of Peanut as the Smite is going to go the way of the Sejuani he's a Sponge down. here. Ult comes down and Peanut is in a lot of trouble and he's alone. First Blood given over to Yehu, just like that. Oh, a bit of. Yeah. Confidence building from the last series that they did win. Rascal feeling better. Teddy as well. But I, I just wouldn't risk it against Tom Life trying to just go into the mid to late game on even footing. I just don't. I don't think that's how you do it. Maybe killing Pina though. He is pretty fast, and they're not going to chase into the jungle as we do have teams of corruption trying to slow down Planet. That's a big two man ultimate coming in from Delight. Going to catch one. And now the chase onto Sponge, who does flash away from it. Stop his TP into this fight and should eventually be successful. If he just keeps following him, Rascal might oh, But he doesn't. To... Does he know? The TP! Oh, this is going to come in the TP once again as it will come down to a smite fight eventually. Big sweep from second, but the damage is there for DRX. And now Teddy has his moment to dash forward and totally sweep up the rest of Hamalife Esports. It's a triple kill. And you can stamp that Zeri moment immediately. Teddy is 3-0. and zero. Guys, <laughs> this is going to be a longer and tougher game than we thought. Even without Rascal getting the TP off, after trying to get, just keep it together for long enough, Fear X got to win. Why not us? <laughs> I mean, Teddy, he's trying to play for his 300. Doran, building only armor items, still doesn't take damage. Who could who could have known? Wait, Rascal. Oh boy. On the flank, but uh, they might just be able to flank him as he gets knocked up into the Varus and dies. So the flank doesn't last for very long. Then do it, Sponge. We learned from last time. <laughs> Sponge. Guys. He's got that bob in him. He might just do it. He's not. He's, no, no, he's going to run It's away. fine. They could lose Nash if he does it. Yeah, and, and, and dies. Doran, he is unfettered. <laughs> I don't know why I chose that word. Um, he yeah, is, but he's, though. He's just going to run away. And you see that DRX 4v5 really trying to set up in mid. I don't know if this really works. They, they are down a couple of ultimates, but he can just ult the wave. The uh, rumble, right. Uh, Sponge, I'm going to hold that thought. He's in a bit of trouble here. He's trying to run away from the so karma. Is Yehu, yeah. Um, just to save Yehu. And you know what? Ash? He's going to flash over. Dash is over. What? Well. They fight Viper. Jesus, how did they find that angle? <laughs> What's happening? I don't think it's going to matter. There's a lot of low health bars here on the side of DRX. Rascal not able to join, and they're just going to knock Yehu away. That is a dead support, and Sponge might just be following here as he is on a merry jaunt into the enemy jungle. Run, Bob, run! Um, <laughs> He's dead. He's gone. Yeah. Well... That's the end of the DRX jungler. So a very, very strange position on the map there. But now, how will he sports a chance to start up the Baron? Rascal, Yehu, and Teddy going to try their hardest. I don't see this succeeding, though, but looks like they're going to give it a go. Maybe Teddy can find a miracle. Is it going to be enough? I mean, there's a chance. There's a lot of ults available, though. We still got all out as well. Tries to flash on in, and that's a big burst on a Viper immediately, but Yehu is going to get isolated as well, as now the ult comes in, the all-out from Doran, but very nicely peeled here from the side of Rascal. Teddy's got a little angle, and now Hummel of Esports running away from them, as that is a stun to come in. Plenty, he's going to finally hit a hook. He gets one onto Doran, and he continues to fight his down no! on Teddy, and a massive divide comes in from Sekka, perfectly timed to win the fight for Hummel Life doesn't actually matter that much. 
If they TP a little bit earlier and they kill Viper here, which actually looks like it almost might have happened, that's where it gets kind of... The game goes off the rails a little bit. As we do get we get the full the full chase down for the Bob. Uh, they just got Infernal Soul, by the way, but we do have Delight in a really awkward spot here in the front. He's taking a ton of damage as now the Zeri with the ults here on the Poppy, but it's not quite enough. And now Blood is being kited out. Doran gonna get on top of him. Down will go Sponge as well, and Teddy is left alone. That might just do it here for Helma Life. They take the Baron, they take the Elder, or not the Elder, but <laughs> we've had too many Elders today. The Infernal Soul, and now we'll look to push into that bottom lane. This one has got a sting for DRX, because it feels like it was so, it was within grasp, Veldes. They were so close, they just couldn't figure out the combination. And now Humble Life have Infernal Soul, and they're probably about to end the game. It's looking pretty likely, especially with the Baron, but oh. a ton of damage coming out from the Karma. The Mantra Q's doing a nice job. Rascal gonna catch the wave behind. What was that, Zekka? Not 100% sure, but trying to just frontline for the team, perhaps? Has a bit of damage going into that Nexus turret. Rascal with the big flank immediately just gonna get blown up. Does not exist. This Jax, not this time, says Hamalai Esports, as another uh, route is gonna go into Sponge here. A lot of low health bars on the side of Hamalai Esports might consider backing away but Viper looking for the angle Teddy gonna get over the Nexus <laughs> as now we do have the engage coming in nicely done from the side of Doran bit of burst coming out once again from Yehu but they create enough space and they should be able to just take down the Nexus how about a nice little flip for the bonus KDA and that'll be one to zero and the DRX are just gonna run straight at you slicing Maelstrom is pretty good also if the Jax goes into Counter-Strike and you want to go into an all-in situation just press R and although, way, I guess might steal my better is now we get a Viper in a huge amount of trouble. Nice headbutt away from Delight, but you're not going to get away from this Counter Strike. Good cleanse from Viper, but flash forward from the side of Rascal. First blood picked up. 11 minutes in, they will even get that unbreakable will out of Delight. Nice tele. As they gank towards the top lane, Doran does have his ultimate, but this is free people, free Merc treads. <laughs> So much value as a Slicing Maelstrom is amazing value against the dive. Sponge is going to get tanking on this turret, but it looks like Rascal should put the last bit of damage in. And it was pretty close, but it's still a dive. They get the kill, and that puts Rascal in a much better spot than he was. As I spoke too soon, here's Peanut going to get on top of Plata. It's now Rascal coming in, trying to help out against this one. And yeah, that's going to be a double kill now for Peanut, who does follow up on this one excellently. <laughs> Guys, could have just walked Plata shows on top. Teddy is, oh God, oh boy. Well, Counter-Strike is gonna make this annoying, but it's really difficult yes, oh. to get away from the Poppy. That's gonna be a third kill for Peanut. He's three and zero in this game. And Doran's gonna get some very nice alone time with this turret. And probably take him down later on. Rascal though, he wants the immediate payoff. Doran, oh, he finished his side of flame and he's on his way. Into corruption utilized in the sponge. He's in a rough spot here. And down he will go. A huge amount of burst coming out from Viper, who's got a massive front line in front of him. Down will go Zekka, though, as the Zeri Teddy here is also quite threatening. Doran's here, too. No slicing Maelstrom, though. He made it over. Do you see the latest Doran? Yeah, it makes sense, right? Guys. Guy <laughs> Guys. Guys. <laughs> Guys. <laughs> What's up with our games today, Valdez? <laughs> Uh-oh, that's a different Yordle. This Peanut's getting to work here on the Rascal. He's got that step fast presence, can't take the, uh, he's just in so much trouble now. Tries to hop to a ward as Zekka and Peanut go forward. Might be in a bit of trouble now to Teddy who could kite this one out. No ultimate for Peanut, as that is gonna be Viper helping out with a nice change of corruption. And now it's Sponge who's in trouble. And this nice little skirmish in the jungle will go the way of home Life. Yeah, Sponge doesn't have a quick way to get back here. Rascal can TP. Oh, they're still going. Yeah, he's still going to get in on this one. No change in corruption. Set fast presence, though, is going to make this much easier. And now Teddy's left out to dry as very much desperate. Not going to work yet. Who not uh, able to join up with the two of them. And that's just two more kills. I don't think that's how they wanted it to go, Valdez. How about a TP? Well, if the light doesn't zone it, the light's getting low, though. Damage into this one. He's going to have to dash the wall right now. Nope, he's late. No, it's not happening. And that's going to go the way here of Humble Life. And now Sponge, he is the steel master sometimes. <laughs> not this time. 
He's still trying to make a change in the world. Good effort, good hustle. Pain and no. We've already learned enough lessons today. We don't need more. Uh oh. We got an Alistair. Hex flash over the wall. It's a double knockup now. The turret goes down, and Peanut is on the follow-up. But now Teddy's got some potentially free fodder, although Zekka and Viper are healthy enough to only have that uh, karma for the wave clear. Doran trying to flash away. Now Rascal down two levels. He's still getting on in there trying to take him down, and he should be able to, although super low on health. Doran's still on the run. Come on! Oh, man, this is... It's not, he's not getting it. Oh! Bad. Oh, that feels for the bounty, Valbas. Possible turning point for DRX. Viper, Chains, will miss. Sponge is trying to provide a front line for the team. Very nice headbutt into Flash, pulverize as Pleta gonna get the double knockup, but we do see that Teddy is left out to dry, and so is Sponge. Here's the push from Homolay Esports. It's clean. They don't have the Baron, and they're not going to stick around for too long. They might go. F All right, Teddy. Going to dash over the wall so they don't even bother with him. Hit and run. Getting him in there. Looking for Anaka potentially. That's a double sweep coming in from Zekka. Now Sponge, it looks like he's going to collect his sixth death in this one. Now Rascal going to send it after the front line dies. And Teddy over here is getting soloed by Peanuts. Down will go Yahoo as well. And it looks like it's just Teddy who is on the run. Everybody else, I guess Rascal as well, on the top side of this fight. Not in a, not in a great spot. Teddy might be the next one as he will take the Blast Cone. Thankfully, we avoided another kill. That would have been horrifying to have more action in this game. So Hummel Life Esports will just uh, group up and bot and look for the win. It's okay. Zekka is going to use the power of Mega Cone. Oh, boy. <laughs> there, there's your action, Valdez. There's your action, Valdez. Counter Mega Cone with Mega Cone, just like that. Argument counter. Okay, well, Hamalay Esports pushing in the bot lane. Pleta and Sponge desperate as they might just feed him a seventh one. Sponge stunned up by the cannon, but he is going to flash into the fountain. I don't wish that he goes down again, but Hamalay Esports, regardless, it looks like they will be pretty clean today with a 2 0 victory over DRX this time around. Game one felt like a tense situation. A little more back and forth, some action. <laughs> These were some of the best highlights from all of the LPL spring matchups of the day. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.